This week started out quite exciting. We were promised snow and I was really looking forward to enjoying a little bit more of it. Unfortunately, it actually just ended up raining for an entire day. But a few days later, the snow came after all, and even though it wasn't much and it melted again very quickly, I really enjoyed this unexpected moment. But I still felt a little deflated this week. I had these high hopes for exciting snow, which didn't really materialize. Then, a few days ago, I didn't really do much at all, and I feel like I really wasted the day. Every day feels so precious to me, and I really want to make use of the time I have in the best way I can. And this doesn't mean that I regret not being productive that day, and not working hard, because that's not what life is about to me. I actually just wished I had embraced a day of doing nothing, and enjoyed it to the fullest. But instead it was an unplanned feeling and I tried to fight it all day, thinking I could make myself do something after all. But in the end it just meant that I didn't do anything at all and I also didn't get to enjoy the free time. how much we struggle with our work life nowadays. We live in a culture in which working hard is seen as a virtue. A lot of people will praise others for working hard their entire lives. And I spent quite a few years working really hard as well. I had very stressful jobs in interior design. I worked for some larger than life figures and I would work long days, all-nighters, and generally my job was extremely stressful. In fact, I was actually quite unhappy. I would often cry in the toilets or before going to work in the mornings. Now, I wouldn't quite say it was worth the sacrifice, but working those jobs does allow me currently to work in many other places. It basically gave me a really good CV and a really good experience. When I had enough experience, I started work as a freelancer and that has allowed me to have more say in the hours that I work. Right now I can spend all my time living for myself rather than living for others just so I can pay my bills. I would rather work in my garden growing crops so that I can eat. But I came to Sweden so quickly that I never actually managed to figure out beforehand an alternative way for me to make an income. So at first I just continued doing the freelance work that I was doing before. but. When that job ended, I decided to really embrace my choice for coming here and living differently. So I've just been focusing on working on my renovation and making these YouTube videos. And while YouTube doesn't quite make enough money for me to live off, I'll be able to make do for another few months. I really want to treasure that time and enjoy having this choice. Last week I started to prepare the toilet room to be painted which really made it look so much more finished. It's really exciting to have one space that might actually be completed in a few weeks time. I watched a couple of YouTube videos and I'm going to mud and tape. Tape and mud. Tape and mud. I have mud, a thing, tape. Tiny scissors. It doesn't really matter. The corners in this room are going to be covered by like little corner pieces. This is not how you're supposed to tape in mud. <laughs> you do not do this. Well, not according to the instruction videos. Um, okay. Definitely underestimated how much you need to use. I don't, I don't get it. Ew. 
At the moment, I have quite a nice rhythm going. I divide my days between renovating the house and editing videos. I do wish everything could go faster, but nevertheless, I am happy with how everything is moving forward. This life is very different from having a normal job, working normal hours, so I try to find my own balance that keeps me moving forward, but also keeps me excited about things. I did one coat everywhere and I've completely run out of product. I literally scraped that empty, but that all looks quite good. I mean, everywhere that needs a cover and has been covered. So I guess I'll have to get a second package of that mud stuff and then I can paint. And then I can kind of finish this room. <laughs> no, then I can make the joinery unit. It's going to be a joinery unit right there. So that will be exciting. That will be like custom MDF painted thing, which is why. <laughs> have a little socket coming through a hole for a light. Anyways. joinery unit in a little toilet room. I'm making it out of MDF just because it's the cheapest material. Plywood is very very expensive. I cut all the pieces. They're as straight as can be because I use a circular saw. Um, I could really use a table saw right now. I'm going to paint it the same green that I'm painting the entire room. So I'm hoping that that will hide any imperfections. But what I do need to do is I need to kind of seal the edges. It seems that the cheapest way to seal them is to use the same stuff that you use for plasterboard. So I think I can just use the same muds that I use. I'm gonna try it. Then when it comes to painting, I just have emulsion paints. And again, the cheapest way to approach this is that you have MDF sealers. Apparently if you do like a mist, on the first layer so you mix the paint with water it kind of soaks into the mdf and acts as a primer so yeah i'm basically just using the cheapest option of everything that i'm going to do Thank you. 
my tool. Ah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a wall before? I don't think so. I've always rented. it. In the UK you can't change anything when you rent. You can't even put up a picture frame. Well I like this colour actually. I realised that this colour is pretty much the same as the few things I've bought new, which is this jacket and my shoes, which I'm not wearing right now. It's just the same green. I just I just want everything to be green. I just want to be in a forest, I guess. That's really what's happening. I want the forest to be with me always. I want this piece of joinery to be seamless, also it's my first ever piece of joinery and it's a test <laughs> basically, that's why it's in the toilet. So it's MDF, it's painted beautifully, I am so surprised it comes out looking as though it was sprayed in a factory. I like it, it's amazing. I have a few different ideas of how I could fix it. First I have these little, I have a little dowel set. I also have just screws. And I also have these little furniture brackets. But I figured I should try out dowel sets, do a test run. I'm quite good at stopping when I need to. When I renovate, I actually often finish my day around four in the afternoon. I think the work is quite intense for me. Everything is new and physical, and I need to make sure I do everything correctly, which can be a little bit overwhelming. I don't usually take proper breaks, and some days I start quite early in the morning. Sometimes I think about how much sooner the renovation would be finished if I worked until 8 every night but I also know that I would burn out within a few weeks and that's not why I came to Sweden. I wanted to enjoy life on my own terms and do what suits me. I do often spend days editing these videos from early in the morning until late at night so my hours of being active and working are actually probably more than if I had had my usual full-time job. Filming my life also means that even if I do take a day off I'm usually still filming something. I think that the notion of always having to be productive is really unhealthy but I still find myself feeling a little forlorn about not enjoying that day off earlier in the week. I guess I'm still trying to find a balance in how I wish to spend my days after all. Because life is always changing, I don't quite know what future I'm working towards. So it's difficult to decide what I should prioritize. I decided to plant some seeds for the first time. I've never actually done anything like this before, but this is going to be my first venture into growing things. So we're starting small. There are so many things that I want to do and learn and make. Not just fixing up this house, but I keep having ideas to make some items for myself. 
some clothes for this summer, lampshades for the house, drawings I've been meaning to finish. I want to learn more about plants and flowers. And then there's always the question if one of these hobbies could turn into an income one day. I wish there were more hours in the day, but it's probably not about creating more hours, but just listening to myself and using the time that I do have on the things that are important to me and make me happy. Find a way to explore all the questions I have in life. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say here, but maybe I need to prioritize this build a little bit less. Instead, I could make time for the other things that pique my interest and have never been given the time to be explored fully. Thank mm -hmm. you. So I'm glad that I finished painting and recutting the pieces for this little joinery unit. I'm gonna try and fix it with the least amount of fixings I need. I still don't really know how, but <laughs> fix some of these panels by just sandwiching them, I think, just because it's easier. <laughs> oh, and this doorway isn't fixed yet, but it's looking really cute. The one downside is that I have been really bad at storing my wood and it's actually warped. So... Yeah, store your wood flat. This week I've made good progress with my little builds. I made my first joinery unit, which was something I've been looking forward to. I was a little bit anxious and really curious how I would do making it. We're getting close. I'm going to attach the front by pushing them into these little dowels. We have the holes here. It's 
not quite right. This one doesn't fit properly. I am going to redo this top. I feel distinctly unexcited about this thing. <laughs> But despite my first apprehension, I'm actually really happy with it. It's a lot more minimal than I usually design things, but I'm going to have to embrace it since this is probably the limit of my current capabilities. I really hope to continue with this toilet and finish it as its own little project so I'll have one little room actually finished in the house. I am just making a stencil to redo this top um, shelf because it's so wrong <laughs> and I just made this stencil just to make it fit perfectly but when you look at it it is so not square anymore like that's how not perfect my wall in this unit is so yeah it's um, a little bit more than a hair out of square cold today. don't know how I did it this winter working in this back room in the cold. <laughs> you know I honestly thought that by now I would have gone through all of the woods that I bought before winter. I was worried it wasn't enough to keep me busy during winter but I, I didn't have enough money to buy more. I spent about Two and a half thousand euros on materials. That wood is still here. Let's see how this fits. There we go. That's a lot better. This is the unit. I should probably explain a little bit more what is happening in it. I have this huge opening and it's going to hold these two bins. One is going to be for compost or sawdust and the other one is going to be a bin. And I'll have space here for toilet paper. And some storage, maybe some more toilet paper. And a little top shelf that might hold something cute. Everything is a lovely moss green and I can't wait to continue with it and actually finish this little room. Thanks for coming along this week and I will see you next time.